50 reads, 1 is removed for the Wu key, 49 are used to make the 64 hexagrams, which also model the DNA. <clears throat> so the ayahuasca full rapture produces a phase conjugational lens around the body, through the body. This enables a rapid cancellation of programs and the installation of utter universal axiomatic novelty. The body of this cascade is also represented in the Dharma body geometry of the Medicine Buddha, 72 degree triangles interlocking, <coughs> which result from eight cycles per second, which the Rig Veda calls the Vata, Rata, the universal wind chariot <coughs> of the sun and the moon. It represents the ascending and descending <coughs> Aumkaras or Meriprastaras as trees of life. The Alpha tree or Rutaru and the Omega tree, the Satya, Taru, ascending and descending. And the Somapa, the Ayahuasca Shaman, the Somawaska Shaman always brings together the opposites. Through the bringing of opposites together, the primordial foundation is realized. The alchemy protocols and practice of the ancient foundation of all civilization in the Vedas then deals with the practical use of these plants in a science. And we are now in the renaissance, the re-realization of this archaic wisdom, this fount that produced the golden treasury of our mathematics, our astronomy, of our yogic arts and martial arts, of our semantics. It is the bringing together of the sun and the moon that the Rig Veda prescribes. In fact, the Rig Veda describes and the Rig Vedic fire altars, the Agnihotas, describe that the sun requires 108 equatorial circumferences to have its distance to earth. It makes a single pillar by strange coincidence, and this is accurate in modern astronomical references. It also says that when you take the moon's equatorial circumference, it is 108 of these equatorial circumferences to Earth. So the 108 soma plants of the sun and the moon making one single hyper pillar, which they call the Shamba pillar. This is the shamanic pillar that links all opposites and enables the shaman to travel into the star Adam body using the 108 plants through the principles of the sun and the moon the dopaminergic or sun side of the solar system, the cholinergic or moon side of the nervous system. And these balance of psychoactive substances are therein given. We also find that apart from the eight hertz molecule plants, the DMT containing plants in the Rig Veda, there are five, at least five different mushrooms, psychoactive mushrooms described. These include very likely the Strophoria cubensis here shown growing on the white sacred cow of Shiva by Angkor Wat. We also see the medicine Buddha there, Amida or Amadeya, holding a mushroom, and you see the beams of a halo underneath the mushroom representing the halo. Um, at the central complex of the Bavon or Bayon, which points to the galactic center and the heart of the dragon, we see a lot of mushroom iconography and how these Paraplumes, these umbrellas, these mushrooms, also metamorphosize into the phoenix bird, the bird of ascension, enabling the initiate to shapeshift into serpents, into dragons, the serpent pathways of the great dragon king in the heavens, whose daughter is Soma, who all the initiates wish to woo for the gold of immortality, so that the cascade of their heart, the treasury of their heart, may be unburied as the lens of apotheosis with gnosis. 
The mushroom is a clear iconograph with Shiva, as we can see here. Various forms, Strophoric Abenses and Amanitas, are still used to this day in certain traditions, such as the 33rd path of Buddhism, Sokchen, and beneath it, the Anuttara Tantra, or Inner Tantras. <coughs> Here we see, in fact, the Kirati shamans, which are practicing mushroom shamans, and they have, of the 108 plants, Soma plants, 88 plants. These Nepalese shamans also have Tibetan Buddhist lamas. So here we see one of their traveling mushrooms, which takes them up the Shambhapila to the umbrella of the stars upon the Sri Yantra, the Meru Yantra, that is the Alm Yantra, the foundation of the universe. Here is Parvati Rai. She's the female shaman who uses these mushrooms, showing how the umbrella is likened to the mushroom and that the umbrella represents the kundalini of the spine, which then blooms or flowers like an umbrella cap over the head, a halo protecting one and enabling one to travel like a starship up to the heavens. She's showing how various Buddhistic implements like furbas are actually modeled on the mushroom. This previously was rather an arcane subject. Usually this secret legacy of the inner tantra in Buddhism would be taught after 30 or 40 years of hard practice. This is an unbroken legacy which the Karate shamans are practicing clearly linking the Rig Veda to the Buddhistic traditions and medicine Buddhism. They also have an LSD relative, since we've looked at LSD as actually producing genetic changes. This is Lakshmana. Lakshmana, or Argyria nervosa, contains lysergic acid, or LSA, natural LSD. Um, there are several different formulations that are used by the Kirati, and which are described also in the Rig Veda. Certain drinks that are used, including a kind of barley alcohol that distills the acetic acids from the um, ergot, or mother corn fungi. Here is the bamboo containing DMT that the Kirati use that enables them to travel into the heavens, much like Shakruna. It is said that the um, legacy of the whole Himalayan regions from the Sarasvati River Valley was brought by an ultra-terrestrial series of beings called the Manu, and primarily one Manu, who was said to come through a kind of stargate it is described as a stargate, and bringing and handing over the legacy of a super-civilization called Mu-Rutas, a kind of Kamu-Loda. A region of the ancient Rig Vedic culture was called Kam. It is now China. It is now Xi'an China, in Shenxi. There are 500 pyramids there, and these pyramids are laid out according to the stars of the Big Dipper, the seven rishis of the Rig Veda, the seven wise men, the seven Manu givers of the Soma, the Soma Pas, the Soma givers, the Alexia givers, the master shamans, so to speak. Um, and these pyramids, this pyramid is um, two times bigger than Giza, have underground tunnel systems which are used as a labyrinth for their shamanism a series of tunnel systems that represent the cycles of the stars. So in their dark rooms, in their ceremonies, in darkness, their pineal glands produce penoline, or endohuasca, endogenous ayahuasca, together with their alexias, which is the exogenic, or plant form, of soma huasca. The soma molecule, penoline, harmine of ayahuasca, is totally flat and, in fact, dones its electrons with the DNA base pairs, enabling interaction with the code of life. So the pineal gland, which is where 8 hertz goes first, in fact, 8 hertz is translated.